Yes, I've been shopping, but it's only a mini haul. Um, so I'll just quickly run through the, the couple of bits I bought. Um, and also, I'll be showing you how I did a little something on a card, Christmas card. Um, so anyway, this is uh, an embossing folder I bought on eBay. And I'm really pleased with it because it's got Christmas words in it. Because you cut the strips as you wish, you know, how you want them. And I'm really pleased with that. So... I'm going to get cutting nose, um, embossing nose this afternoon. Um, the next thing is I bought um, a bow maker. This is to go in my giveaway stash. Um, I shall be running that really soon. I just want another 15 subbies, new subbies, and then I'll run it. Uh, but meanwhile I'll pick up a couple more bits because the more bits I can get, the more winners there'll be. So far I'm thinking three, two or three. Next thing I bought was some uh, doilies, heart shaped ones and some little dainty round ones. And um, yeah, so they're for the um, giveaway haul as well. So um, I'll separate everything and, you know, if there's like a pack of something like that, then I'll split them so I'll divide them among the two or three winners that there'll be. So everybody gets a few of the little things. The next thing I bought, this isn't uh, for the giveaway because these are mine. Mine, 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 mine. <laughs> and look at these flat backs. Cabochons or something, aren't they gorgeous? Yeah, you know, get them out of the packet. And they're like made of resin, but look how lovely they are. Oh, that's going to go on my romantic journal. Oh, love it. So I'm really pleased with those. Um, so the next thing is, now that's out of the way, um, I've been making a, a Christmas card and what I want to show you, oh dear, I just put my finger in the glitter glue, oops, anyway this is only like um, a sample card, um, this card, as plain as it is, um, has snowflake uh, snowflakes embossed on them on the front <coughs> pardon me and um, and I didn't have an embossing folder to to be able to do them so I made my own um, and what I like about it is that I could put the snowflakes wherever I wanted them I didn't have to have it as according to the embossing folder and um, so I'm really pleased with this. Uh, this has got snowflake edge to the car using um, uh, an SVG file I've got on my, on my silhouette. But I mean, you can get snowflake border punches anyway. Uh, and I just backed it with some lace I had. And this is a SVG fold. Um, file as well um, and I just very softly used um, crushed olive distress ink pad Tim Holtz one I just used that to go around the edge I wanted to do a card that wasn't traditionally um, done in uh, Christmas colours you know I wanted to sort of go a bit different but when I cut this um, file, I then run it through um, an embossing folder, like polka dot boss embossing folder, and that's how I got that effect on it. Because um, I rubbed, um, before I embossed it, I inked it with this pad, and then when 
after I embossed it with the uh, dots, I then used the pad um, that way and very carefully rubbed it over the spots so it just brought those out all the more. But I really like how it came out and it's simple enough as well. And all the snowflakes down the edge and these ones here, um, I've embossed with, not embossed, I've got that on the brain. <laughs> I used, it's like, um, oh, it's like stickles, but it's an English brand, Do, Do Crafts, Do Craft, and it's called Crystal. Um, and I just used that in, in the centres of all the snowflakes. So it doesn't show up on camera, but it really does sparkle. So here's what I did to get my snowflakes. I've got a snowflake punch. And um, I've got a piece of card. Uh, well, it doesn't matter because I'll show you this. The, I've got a piece of card. This is just printer card. And, uh, and I punched four snowflakes for every one snowflake I wanted on my piece of card. So here's my snowflake. And so in all I've got 12 snowflakes but there's four stacked to each one. Um, and I just used an Aileen thick tacky glue to glue them in place so it's always there. Uh, and then I just um, used a couple of uh, shims, uh, like printer card shims, to go under one of the plates, under a B plate. Uh, let me show you. Uh, so, there's my A plate. A couple of cardboard um, printer card shims. This is only thin, like about 210 gram, I think. So they sat on top there. Then, then a B plate. Um, uh, then I put my, um, say for instance, this. This is the card. I laid that down, put my card on top where I wanted the snowflake to be and then put another B plate on top and I run it through my embossing machine or die cutting machine and this is what I got and I'm really really happy with the results, bearing in mind it didn't cost me anything because I already had the punch and uh, I shall probably cut a couple more of these out and just and I can trim them down as well for smaller ones and scatter them on there as well so it's not quite so plain as it is but I really really like how it's come out so that's my card and my little mini haul I hope you um, enjoy it if you do make an embossing folder well an embossing plate this way uh, having used my video do please uh, send me a, a VR. I would really love to see um, your one that you've made and also um, the results of it, you know, have you made a card or something. Um, I shall be back later on, um, maybe tonight or tomorrow, because I'm going to do some another February project. I won't say what it is. Um, but uh, that would be something for you to look forward to, hopefully. I hope you do look forward to my videos, actually. Um, so I'll be back again real soon. And uh, take care, everybody, and have a wonderful weekend. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.